All right, guys, I got everything just about ready to go. Give me two seconds and we will get the game fired up. Alright, just a quick reminder to anybody who's watching on YouTube, I'm also streaming live to Kick, Rumble, Twitch, and Twitter. So whatever your preferred platform is, I'm on all five. Um, I could even stream to Instagram, but uh, that's that's confusing as hell, and screw that, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to get the game going. Let's get things rolling here. I'm a little sleepy tonight, so we're going to try to drink some coffee and make stuff happen. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. To be honest, I've had a really long week, and today was a hellacious workday, so I'm going to try to just will myself to push through, see if we can get a couple hours into this. And again, I played this game probably a couple years ago. I, I think I got through like the first few hours, and I got my ass kicked. I was having a hard time with it. I don't know what I was doing wrong, so I just kind of gave up. Hey, Matt, the game's unforgiving. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I remember the game is pretty brutal. King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded. Prague. And his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. You know, it's funny, I don't even remember this intro. The whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son. Wenceslas. The Ooh. His father had prepared him for this moment all his life. What did they ruin? I don't know. Did they ruin anything? Wenceslas did not take after I think the game's the same as it always has been. In fact, I got the edition on Steam that had like four or five DLC to it, so... I don't know. We'll give it a shot and see. <laughs> yeah. I got my ass handed to me the first time around on this game, and I, I quit. I was like, I noped out pretty fast. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. I know all these names. That's the funniest thing. Like, I'm a big history buff, so for me, I recognize all this shit, even though I haven't played this game. Radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. Gotta learn the combat. Yeah, Chuck, the combat I know is rough. And began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. My story? Now, is this Henry talking, the, uh, the main character? All right. Settings, first of all. Graphic settings. If there's motion blur, we need to turn that shit off. Uh, show frames per second, I don't care about that. Vertical FOV. We could turn the FOV up, but I'm just going to leave it. Image quality medium is fine. Advanced graphic setting. MFX medium, medium, medium. Shader quality medium, that's fine. Shadows and medium should be fine. You know, this game's old enough, I could probably turn the settings up and I wouldn't have a problem. Save changes, yeesh. All right, uh, sound settings should be fine. We'll just kind of go with it for now. I want subtitles. Call me a boomer, I don't care. I like subtitles. In-game chatter subtitles, yeah, we'll leave that on. We'll leave tutorials on for now. All right, new game. Normal mode. I'm not going to go hardcore. Hell no. Max it out. My computer can't max it out. My computer is like five years old almost. And I, I, I built it from scratch, but it was like, you know, 
it wasn't top of the line at the time. It runs every, there's not a single game I can't play on my computer, but streaming and playing at the same time takes a toll on my processor. So I gotta be really careful like how much I push my computer, you know? That, and this computer is probably gonna end up be my wife's. If I ever replace mine, um, I'll probably just give this one to my wife to use because her computer is one of these little pre-built uh, touch screen, all in one monitor shit, you know? And to be honest, it's not great. Last thing I'm gonna do is abuse mine at this point. <laughs> be like, here, honey. You can have my computer that I can completely beat to crap. Silver Scallops, 1403. You know, I could probably turn the graphics up a little bit. This looks really, uh, kind of basic. Yeah, the funny thing is I had played this on Game Pass before, and, uh, and then they took it off of there. And so I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm sure I have a free copy of it somewhere. I checked my Epic Games Store, because they always give you free crap. I checked Steam, I checked Amazon even, and I could have sworn I had a free copy of it. But Steam had it on sale for like six bucks. You know, the thing about this that I like... I don't have to worry about any sort of character customization, and yeah, character customization is fun, but it takes a hell of a lot of time. Like, I'll spend an hour just creating my character, and then you never even see your character in a first-person game. How about them Yankees? <laughs> I have to imagine what small talk was like in the Dark Ages. Ah, uh, anybody get leprosy today? Nah, it's a good day. <laughs> Oh man, I remember this part. Husband. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him that's right. I have to run some errands, don't I? Sleeping when I went out. At this hour. Ah, you lazy bastard. Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. I don't get it. She looks fine. She's got, like, makeup on. That man is dirty. Alright, go find Henry. Let's get this shit started. Wake up, you lazy bastard. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. My poor wife keeps sneezing in the other room. I have to keep muting myself. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Yelling at a cock, really. on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been? Oh, it's been boxing. How many times have I told you about fighting? It's nothing. I almost wish this game had been done in. um... play again. Oh, crap, what language do they speak in the Czech Republic? Well, like, you know, I could, I could have done the whole game in a foreign language with subtitles. I would have been fine with that. It's always weird when they do, like, other uh, ethnicities in Europe, but they use, like, a British voice instead. It's like, British is just the default. You rogue. Get up there. Come on, get up there. Oh, thanks for the follow. What is it, Luger Damber? How's your night going? Happy Friday, by the way. I have been looking forward to Saturday for so freaking long. This week has been insane. I started unexpected visit. What on earth did you get up to last night? We were chatting in the tavern. I, I was dancing. I was with Bianca. Ooh, vitality. Oh yeah. I was working in the forge. Oh, let's say he was working in the forge. We're gonna go strength build. In the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew. Hey, you got a boom arm for it? Hell yeah! I have, a right to be a bit tired. I have like the twenty dollar oh, Amazon special boom arm here, but you know what? It works. <laughs> with that scratch on your hand. Can't complain too much, right? With a sword who turned up in town recently. Why would I be interested in a sword fight? Uh, Matthias was teaching me archery. I was with Bianca. 
What does it matter? Let's go Bianca. Let's go Strength and Vitality. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this? An he was with Bian Bianca, oh, <laughs> Bianca and he says blow-by-blow. Blow. I wouldn't say that to my mom, just saying. Sorry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to. I think I've moved this boom arm like five times because I keep moving like my entire setup. And so I've got like this. So I swapped my monitor with my PC, my actual tower. So I used to have my tower on this side here and then my other monitor right here. And so the boom arm has basically moved like twice, but it's been in the way three different times. And I'm like, I just can't decide on where to stick it. And I've got this tiny little nook in my living room to work with. So it's not like I have a whole lot of options. Uh, I'm hungry. Is Pa angry at me? Who's, who cares if Pa's angry? Tell the woman you want some food. Come on. I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Oh, well, it was designed for it then, man. That's the way to go. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. You're a good lad. It's but I'll have to kill you. With that sword. I don't want to help my father with that sword. That sounds vaguely sexual. Uh -uh. All right. Yeah, no, this one um, it just has the interchangeable adapter part on it. So the only thing I actually added to the the quadcast was I got this little tiny like five dollar, uh, you know, like little buffer that I attached to the quadcast. I don't even know if it matters. How long does my average thumbnail take? Well, if we're talking like for a video, um, it could take me tweaking it like over the course of half an hour or an hour even because sometimes I just hate it and I'll go back and finish it later on for like the thumbnails for when I'm just doing a game stream um I just I don't know I, I use what Streamlabs has they have like the thumbnail maker and then I just take a you know a JPEG or whatever of the the what's the word I'm tired my brain is fried the game itself and then I'll just kind of pick the right thumbnail layout and just kind of stick it in there those don't take super long but if we're talking like a, for a video, those I could fuss with that for like an hour. Which is stupid because, you know, it's like, well, does anybody even care? And I, I know thumbnails are the window dressing and it's what gets people to actually like tune into your video. All right, pick it up in the inventory in the tab food select what you want to eat and then eat it by holding E. All right, so where's the food at? Ooh, can I take all this stuff? Nails for Teresa. Hang on, hang on. Take all. Am I going to get in trouble if I take all this? <laughs> I am, aren't I? Okay, apples. Yeah, thumbnails are interesting. Like, sometimes it doesn't take me very long if I have a good idea for one. But if you can't find the right image to work with or something... Um, lentil soup. God, that looks terrible. All right, let me see here. How do we eat? Uh, inventory and food. All right, how much food do we need? Okay, let's see here. Why can't I pick up the stick? Come on, man. All right, so you can't interact with everything, apparently. Is there another um, view mode, or is it all first person? I think it's all first person, if I remember correctly. Oh god, this is bringing back like Morrowind vibes. Oh, somebody said I should play that the other day. I'm like, you know, I haven't played Morrowind since I got my Xbox 360. And I can't remember how long that's been. Dude, there's like food everywhere. Can we crouch? We can crouch. Ooh, it's a lot of onions. Right, what's our weight limit? Uh, 9.8 out of 74. Oh, food doesn't spoil, it looks like. That's cool. It's all first person. That's okay. It's funny, like, I play. I like playing first person even on games like uh, Crusader... Not Crusader Kings. Uh, Chivalry or um, Mordow or whatever. But everyone's like, why are you playing that in first person, huh? I prefer it, I don't know. New codex entry. EQ 
Ecumenical Council, Carts and Wagons, Faith and Devotion. This is going to take me a long time to go through. All right, where are we supposed to be going? But yeah, Richie, it just depends. All right, go to Father. Oh God, stuck on a log. Hey, Daddy. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? No, Dad, I was drunk. <laughs> I was wasted. All right. Uh, sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. Talk to people, often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. Some of your speech. Could be influenced by reputation. Social status was paramount. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Together with your reputation can make a big difference. So take a bath, okay? If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you. You can sometimes rely on money. In special cases, you can try other skills like horsemanship. All right. Different approaches work on different people. Well, duh. No matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easy. It's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. Corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible. It's someone you know well if you're skilled at reading people. Learn the perk empathetic. Ah, okay. The outcome is influenced by other factors, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding. Well, yeah, nobody wants to talk to somebody who's dirty or bleeding or both. Uh, if you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first and then he'll be easier to persuade. Oh my god, dude. Fallout 4 almost entirely in first person. Dude, I need to play some of the Fallout games. I tried playing Fallout 76 after everyone had said it, how horrible it was, and I just was like, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't awful at that point, but it wasn't great. I was just kind of bored with it. Um, I'm confused. It's just going to keep going back and forth? Okay. I had to do something. Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. Let's see if this one works. Oh, hang on a second. We don't know his yet. All right, let's give it a try. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of Hey, time. little Mark, what's good? I don't know. I had a feeling I was what's good is it's Friday. What's good is I don't have to work tomorrow. That's oh, what's good. My boy. When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work. For me, that's good. I need a day off. My legs are killing me. I need your a crazy ass work day today. I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. Buy a bag. Yeah, that's the other thing. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I didn't make it very far in this game. I remember this quest. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. I love it. The dad's gonna use his son as the muscle. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If Fallout 76, I didn't like the fact that it was personally use that hammer. Hang on a second, let me nails into his ass. I'm gonna bang nails into his ass with a hammer. Okay, that sounds a little homoerotic. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal cross guard. Alright, cool. Got it. Um ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. Oh, his girl is a bar wench. That's cool. cool from the cellar when you get back. Way to go, Henry. Bianca. Bianca the bar wench. Make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. So Richie, tell me. Because I, I'm I'm very much like a Fallout virgin. Like I said, I played Fallout 76 like twice. Are all the Fallout games exactly the same where it's like the open world exploration, build your little base camp? do quests or whatever is that basically the same uh series of events the, the way that fallout games all work like they're all open world and stuff because i mean i should play it if that's the case i i like those kind of games i just for some reason fallout 76 like yeah i tried playing it a couple years back and i was like yeah it's not as bad as people said it was because i'm sure they fixed a lot of the shit by that point but i don't know i just wasn't feeling it J. Here we go. Quests. Main quest. Unexpected visit. Um, let me see here. Every time they made it a shooting sequence, Fallout 1 and 2 are very chat-based. Oh, okay. I need to go tell my kids to go to sleep. Give me one sec.
made the mistake of letting my kids all sleep in the same room tonight, which they haven't done for a while. So three arcs into the open world. Okay, so they're not all the same. All right, let's see here. Uh, hang on, which quest do we have? Let's go back to Jay. Unexpected quest, uh, unexpected visit, go to the sword fighting lesson, buy a bag of charcoal. First, we got to collect the debt from Kunish. That's C. All right, where is C at? Kunish is moving around. Excuse me, mum. All I remember is I got into a fight with somebody on this game, and he kicked my ass. I think it was this dude right here. Oh, shit, I got to eat again already? What else can I eat? Where's my uh, lentil soup here? It was my uh, my food meter, my hunger meter. Okay, I'm almost full now. We'll just go with that. Yo, I can take the axe. Should I just take the axe? <laughs> New Vegas? I gotta check and see which ones I have. I know I have some of the games for free that I've picked up for like the Epic Game Store or uh, they might still be on Game Pass. I think they are because I still have Game Pass for a few more months. So I might check out, like, New Vegas. Everyone seems to love that one. Come here. Come lay down, bourbon. Come on, bud. Ugh. Is this Kunesh? Come here, bud. With you, Kunesh. What do you want? What I want? I want you to pay up, dude. Father sent me for the money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools, man. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you That's what I've been hearing, like, everyone thinks New Vegas is the best. Uh, what is this skill? One, I'm not doing that, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell him my daddy's gonna come see him. I'll tell father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back another way. Well, the axe we can get back for stealing. That's easy. Can I pick up a chicken? Oh my god, I just killed the chicken. How sad. Can I hit him with the chicken? <laughs> oh, he's using the axe. Okay, alright. Let's come back to this one. I remember I tried stealing the axe and he beat the crap out of me before. Beat the living shit out of him? I mean... I'm going for more of a strength build. I should be able to beat him up, right? Can you, um... Can you block, like, parry with punching? Uh, I guess not. I wonder if there's something up here I can just pick up and hit him with. Could just try sneaking up on him and beating the crap out of him. What other quests can I do real quick instead? Pick up the cross guard at the castle. Let's just do that. D. the hell is D? Ah, here we go. You personally like three the most? Yeah, I think I've got a few of them that are still on Game Pass. I'm not sure, because it's that whole game EA through Game Pass thing that they did. Alright, where's the entrance? Watch some guard who's going to tell me to bugger off or something. Oh, my guy's running out of breath. Here we go. All I know is I tried playing 76 and I was like, I don't know. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever played, but I was just bored. Excuse me. Dude's not gonna move. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. Oh, he knows my name. Oh, we can turn the guards on him. That's awesome. Things could be better. Kuna shows us money and he doesn't want to pay. That drunkard, it won't be easy wringing any coin out of him. What will you do? Oh, kill him, come on. But I have a feeling it won't go smoothly. The guards aren't going to work for me, come on. Kunish won't listen to anything but the whip. Mind you don't lose your teeth. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We're forging a sword for Saradzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. 
I've never seen anything so fine. That's what she said. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Oh no, Henry's a fuck up apparently. <laughs> Your ass this evening. Right away. Uh yeah, Richie, uh back in I think this was the end of March. Magnificent. Yeah, I think it was right around the end of March. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. Yo, can you go in the castle or not? After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right, we got the cross guard. Cool. Still can't get past them. All right, we got that. Let's give that back to Dad. Tell him that this guy is a bastard and won't pay up. Hey, Daddy. Where's the actual entrance, man? About time. Have you got everything I wanted? All right. I am. Um... Oh, you have to give him everything all at once, really? Get a move on. We have to finish the sword today. Oh, I don't know about that, Richie. Honestly, YouTube has been weird with their algorithm. Um, I've noticed some things like a lot of people were complaining about view counts being down, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I I'm happy with what I have. I'm not trying to be like unrealistic and all that. I went to see Kunish, but Hell, when I had that video about that I'm crazy right, chick no on Twitter last year, I think that was like in January, no people were like, oh, you're going to hit a million subscribers by, you know, by the end of the year. It's like, I, no. <laughs> uh, I, I like to have, like, more realistic expectations than that. I'll rob Kunish. No, I'll take care of him myself. I can take care of him. Yeah, Dad, I'll well, leave it to me. You're a man now, and a man has to earn respect. Hey, give that drunken sot what's coming. Don't tell mom I love that. Watch out, he's no stranger to a fight. And whatever you do, don't tell your mother. Even in the year 1400, don't tell your mom. All right, I guess we're going to go beat the crap out of this dude. How did I get down there before? Oh, well, I guess the way I came in. Let's eat some more food. We'll eat this lentil soup first. Oh, we can't eat the raw chicken, I don't think. At least I'm not going to try it. All right, we should be feeling good now. Oh, yeah. We are feeling good now. Let's go beat the crap out of this guy. Oh, never mind. He's still using the axe. Oh, he's not. All right. Mmm, he is. Well. Here we go. Yo, can I just kill him instead? <laughs> I mean, Richie, I mean, it'd be a nice thought, but... You need to be careful when selling stolen goods, too. Let's just take the axe back to his dad real quick. I mean, I'm not quitting my day job, Richie, I'll tell you that. There, Daddy. Got this axe for you. About time. All right, here. I went to see Kunish. Why won't he just give him the axe? I might have known. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. All right, I guess you just hang on to this until you're all done. I can take. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I also have to get those nails. The hunger meter is going to get really old. If... Alright, Kunish, where are you, you bastard? Wash myself. Hell yeah! Hang on, there was a hammer, nails, and an axe. Where would the hammer be? All right, where did Kunesh go? Here we go. Come here, dude. <laughs> I sure hope that's Kunesh. Hey, we got him. All right. Steal all. Oh, I'm not taking his clothes. No, no, no. I don't want all that. <laughs> um, let's take that and that. 
Hope he doesn't wake up anytime soon. Mudahar still has his. Still has his what? Ooh. Eat some of that. If you go where you're not supposed to, people will first warn you before calling a guard. Well, you know what? This guy deserves it, okay? Mm, a locked chest. Lock pick from lock Fritz. Alright. Fritz might have one. Take that, steal all. Try to get the axe hammer back. Oh, yeah, we did that. Where's Fritz at? Alright, let's find Fritz. Man is still knocked out. Alright, where is Fritz? I have no idea where Fritz is. Oh, day job. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure his day job makes a lot more money than my day job. Just saying. I wonder if I should just take his boots. No, I'm not going to take his boots. <laughs> not doing it. All right, now I just got to figure out where Fritz is. Get a lockpick from him. These aren't actually bags we can go through, are they? Hey, Kunish. <laughs> just kick the crap out of the guy, and he's just like, whatever. God save Henry. Discovered the charcoal burner. Hello. Greetings. Hey, Mahendra. Um, Richie, I heard that Mudahar actually is a landlord. Because there was a big controversy about, oh, how evil, he's a landlord, he owns people's homes, you know. Could be wrong, but I just saw that going around. Put your purchases into your basket and then either confirm the purchase or try to haggle. Okay, so we're going to sell the axe and the hammer and the nails to get the money for the charcoal. Okay. All right. So, oh, we can sell items here, can we? Let's take a look here. Oh, we can't. We got to sell them at a fence. That's right. Hey, I got no problem with landlords. I, I don't like the rental market. I hate that how much money I'm paying to rent. Hey, Pit. Do you want to Combat master. No, I want to find the, the freaking trader. Where is he at? Uh, okay, hang on. I L the where, where do I sell this shit at to get uh, to get rid of the stolen stuff? Grocer, all right. Um, is there a map? Oh, thank God. Okay. Trader. Uh, where am I? Holy crap! Mm, grindstone. Oh, trader's right next to the grocer. Okay. No, it's going to be one of those guys over there. Taylor. No, not the Taylor. Blacksmith. <laughs> Give me your rent. Well, you know, um, the landlord from Spider-Man 2. I, I don't know. I didn't play that one. I'll give you rent after you fix the door. There's a lot of shitty landlords. Okay, that's the reality. But the thing is, like, not everyone's going to be in a position to actually own their own house. So you got to rent your house from somebody. I, I don't think it's inherently evil to own somebody else's house. The whole point of renting, it's kind of like when you're working a job like McDonald's. You rent until you can afford your own place. Uh, to actually be able to purchase something, you know? So I can't sell these here. Where do we sell this crap at? Greetings. Three bedroom, three bath, modernized 60s build is just under 1700 a month where I live. Well, that's actually not bad. So, uh, I pay more than that. <laughs> For my apartment. Of course, I live in an expensive state. I live in an expensive city. My wife and I were talking about this. The median house price where I live is like eight or nine hundred thousand dollars. It's absolutely bonkers. 
And it's funny because most people can't afford that. Uh, it, there's just, you know, there's the few rich people in this town and then everybody else who's like the poors. Can we actually sell this or not? You know, I, I don't understand the people that like freak out about, you know, landlords. It's like, look, somebody's going to have to own your home. Give me a moment. That's it. God be with you. Do you need anything? Yeah, I need to sell this stuff. Where can I sell this stuff at? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have any money. Buy a bag of charcoal. What is that one? Buy out the tavern. <sighs> Alright, let's do the sword of fighting lesson. Let's do that first. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? <laughs> yeah. Except mother noticed and had a word or two. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to... Spoken like a man. <laughs> and as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready okay. to get stuck in? Yes. All right. A weight on the ground by the sheep. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Richie, 400k here in the, in the town that I'm in um, wouldn't get you a whole lot. Unfortunately. And it hasn't always been that way. Yeah, I live in an expensive place, but it has not always been this expensive. It's really been the last couple of years. Ever since, you know, we, my wife and I, we, we lament this all the time because... 2019, we were really looking forward to 2020 because 2020, we were like, okay, it's going to be our year. We, we're getting all of our bills paid and we're finally making a little bit more money and things are looking up. Housing market wasn't crazy high. So it was like, all right, cool. We're going to finally be able to buy a house. And here we are four years later, still living in the same apartment we've been in for now like eight years. Unreal. Hmm. Yeah, the Pokemon Go thing is nuts. I don't know if you saw Mahendra, but that the uh, Pokemon HQ Twitter account. They were like, look, we don't get into politics and all that. That's not what we were talking about. But why, if, if you want to add, you know, options and customization, that's great. But this isn't making anybody happy. So, can we get started? It's like you try to change something to make people happy and you piss everybody off. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything. show me everything I've taught you. I don't know what you've taught me. This is my first time here, man. Good lord. All right. Uh oh. Very well. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Your life depends on it. How do we parry? Can unlock from your opponent at any time. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. All right. Never repeat yourself. Good. Once again, very good. Good. Once again, fine. Fine. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Oh, Richie, no, they, they uh, basically removed... Any gender? Hang on, stab week. Here we go. Good. They um, they updated all the avatars, and now all the women look like men, and all the men look like women. Let's try something else. One strike. They said that they were trying to like make it more uh, give people more freedom to make their avatar look like them. All right. But yeah, basically what they ended up doing was not giving anybody any options they wanted. Try to press or at the very moment the person. Uh, okay, hang on. All right. There we go. Oh, we're doing two of these. All right. 
This combat is going to be tedious. Holy crap. California University. Yeah, basically. Right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember that's it? That's all the combat training I get? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Dude, do I even have a weapon? I don't even have a weapon. Oh, man. All right. Let's do the next one. Uh, buy, well, we can't buy charcoal. Let's go to the tavern and talk to, I guess we're going to go talk to Bianca. But yeah, uh, Richie, the characters are hideous. They, they made them god-awful looking. Need to find a katana. I mean, okay. So here's the thing about the protagonist from Star Wars Outlaws. She's not the ugliest character ever created, but they took a good looking woman and made her bland. The hair I can forgive because they're trying to go for like a 70s look. But then they went with this whole thing where it's like, okay, now you have the, the 70s, 80s haircut on a not so attractive woman. And they're basically just trying to replace Han Solo with a female. But Han Solo, Harrison Ford, they never made him look ugly, right? Harrison Ford's a good looking guy. I mean, not now, but back in the 70s and 80s, absolutely. So if you can say that a guy can be a good-looking smuggler, why can't she be a good-looking bounty hunter or smuggler or whatever? It doesn't make any sense. And the pricing plan, that's that's just freaking Ubisoft. <laughs> Ubisoft sucks. Okay, yeah, they're the, the worst company on the planet. I think Blizzard might be ahead of them as far as, like, their controversies they've had in the past, obviously. They're pretty scummy. But Ubisoft might be the worst. And reunite the Empire! What do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with... Yeah, and then they, they remove the crew from people's libraries. And there's more. There's going to be more games like that. Because remember the CEO of Ubisoft who said that Skull and Bones was a quadruple-A game said that people need to get used to not owning their own games, and now they're removing digital games that they decided to pull off their uh, servers. Like, it's crazy. Hopefully Steam doesn't start doing that crap. That's all I can say. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Yeah, German, shut up. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Oh, that's how we're going to throw shit at him. <laughs> History repeated again. Yeah, whatever happened to the PT demo? So they released that and everyone was like super hyped about it. But uh, it just, the game never happened, right? Was it a full demo or was it a leak? Like it wasn't supposed to be released. The one right next is freshly whitewashed house. You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. I love it. This guy, I'm trying to get all this shit done, and they're like, Nah, man, let's throw some poop. So. Yeah, we'll throw some shit. Come on. I'll do it. Why not? Oh well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss it. It was Silent Hill demo by Hideo Kojima. Oh, okay, that's what it was. You were there, you saw others there. Hey menu, how's it going? I've learned the Western schism. I'm not even looking at like any of this codex stuff. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass later on. I used to have time for all this crap, like games where you pick up like new uh, journals and diaries and you get to like read through all the different like textbooks and stuff. I spent hours of my life doing that on Morrowind, reading through all the books. And it's like, I don't have time for that shit now. I just don't have time. There's Fritz. He's supposed to have a lockpick for me. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check. Like PewDiePie? Oh, okay. Why? In the no, man, I'm, uh, is Silent Hill's demo only on PlayStation? Because I don't have a PlayStation. And I'm not buying one. <laughs> Hi, it is. 
Henry, you go and her away somehow. See, the other thing about having a PlayStation is if I was going to buy one, it'd be to stream games like Stellar Blade and all that. And I don't have anywhere over here on my desk to put a PlayStation. I used to have an old desk where I was able to have my Xbox down below and I had it hooked up to my capture card to my computer. I'm looking around. I don't have any. I've got I got two different extension cord uh, power strips over here. I don't have room to plug anything in. Everything's maxed out. If the lore is great. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If the lore is great, it sucks if you don't have time. But I just flat out like, I don't know. I don't. I just feel like I don't have time to stop and read everything in the book, in the games, you know? What do you want, lad? I want to distract you so we can throw shit at your husband's house. <laughs> By a fan remake? Oh, okay, I'll have to look that up. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can... The mic stands? Um, are we talking about... Mic stand, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Uh, I'm not sure where to download it. All right, guys, let's throw some crap. Oh, I lost reputation. Oh, no. My guy's a scallywag now. Oh, long plastic party table. Okay. Hey, nothing wrong with that, dude. I've got, this is, I've got an I Ikea desk, not Ikea, sorry, uh, an Amazon desk, which I would never buy furniture on Amazon, except my desk, which was just a, like, a Office Depot writing desk. It was like a 40-inch writing desk, right? I barely had enough room on it for my monitors and my computer. I put it in my kid's room for their computer. So this one, because I have, like, the, um, the sublimation printer for doing some Etsy stuff with. I've got the sublimation printer here on this like left wing it has. And then there's the next level and it's got my, my tower, my two monitors, and everything is just crammed in as close as it possibly can be. Oh, the boom mic thing? Uh, it is a, well, mine's a metal boom mic. I've got mine anchored into the wall. I'm not sure if that helps. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy joint. So yeah, mine's just a boom arm that I've got or, uh, screwed into the wall behind my, my main monitor here. And then it just kind of hangs down over the front. <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! He said the F word. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, we can kick, we can jab. Can we block? Q. Oh god, we gotta use the Q key to block, really? All right, let's just let's just go for broke. Come on. All right, now you're dead. All right, see down. He's down. Oh Where's ah? Uh, here we go. What are we Stop doing? We're having now. some fun, lady. The is on his way. Uh, Run from the catch pole. Oh, shit. <laughs> Run, you Where are we going to? What the hell's a catch pole? Hey, we discovered a fast travel point. All right. I can't talk to the guard. Come on, man. Oh shit, where'd these guys go? Yo, are we done with this? Uh, meet the lads at Kunish's. Let's just do that. Need that lockpick. Imagine playing this game on VR. I don't know, dude. So, for me, VR is something that I, I appreciate. We can tickle him. Oh, tackle. I thought it said tickle. I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> no tickling. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate VR. I used to have, like, uh, with 
one of my old phones, I got like the free set of VR goggle things to use and did some like the, the horror, like uh, amusement park stuff, boats and roller coasters and all that. It was pretty cool. But to be honest, like I'm not a big VR fan. I appreciate the concept. I just don't love it for me. Oh, okay, gotcha. So they were going to come lasso us, really? <laughs> All right, let's wash up. All right. Guys, where are we going, man? How do we draw a sword? Do we even have a sword yet? I got a feeling that the sword my daddy makes is gonna end up mine somehow. Well, we sort of Shmeet fan. Hey Chris, I am a Shmeet fan. I like Shmeet. That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. His name's Hans, of course he'll snitch on you. I'll snitch on him. And anyway. What can they do to us for throwing a this guy is like the dead, like, uh, the, the brain dead one in the group here. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> God be with you, Henry. He kind of looks like a freaking court jester almost. All right. Where, uh, which one's Fritz? That's Math Matthias, Matthias, whatever you say. All right, well, Fritz, where's Fritz? Hey, dum dum. Dude's supposed to have a lock pick for me. Well, that sucks. All right, uh, let me see what next. All right, buy ale at the tavern. I can't buy ale, I got no money. I mean, my girlfriend will give me some ale for free. So I noticed the hunger meter disappeared. What's that about? Wait, this isn't the tavern, this is the grocer. Where is the tavern? Yeah, what she said. Where's the tavern? Oh, E, okay. Oh, that's right, I was headed here when I threw some dung instead. All right. Bianca! God save my lovely. Four years later? Dude, I know. You've been talking about that for a long freaking time. And everything works, right? You got it all plugged in and everything's turned on? See, of course. Oh, noble sir, I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Yeah, Chris, now that you finally have a PC built, I'm over here like, I gotta upgrade mine or buy a new one because, to be honest, I've got pretty much as much upgraded as I can. I added more RAM, I added uh, the actual... Um, the M2 SSD on the motherboard. And there's not a whole lot else I can do besides like actually swapping out processor, graphics card, power supply. And at this point it's like, is it really worth it or am I better off just to start from scratch and get a new PC? Let's talk trade. I have no money. <laughs> how am I supposed to, how much can I sell the chicken for? Is this the actual amount here? Quantity, health, condition, weight, price. Oh, here we go. I don't know what this marigold decoction is, though. I don't want to sell it unless I know what it does. Uh, within, within, one, within one minute, within one minute, we'll add 30 health and dispel hangover effects, cancels the effects of Lazarus potion. What is this? Dog fragrance, drinking it can ex an experience that can't be forgotten. All right, Richie. I might be tomorrow night. We'll see. <laughs> you had a friend help you out with the crap? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that was the thing I was most worried about when I built mine was the actual, um, the getting to the bio screen and having everything work properly when I turned it all on. So the thing about my motherboard uh, is that it is a what is it, PCI 4 or whatever is the slots on it, and I think they use PCI 5 now. 
So while I can still upgrade it with most current processors and motherboards and all that, um, I guess that, you know, a lot of these new motherboards, if, if you go to like any computer stores uh, website and you start putting together like your, like from scratch, my motherboard, the tough gaming one is like so far down on the list as far as like top of the line and then like down near the bottom is mine. And the funny thing is mine at the time when I got it five years ago was not top of the line, but it was really decent. So the, the reason uh, that Matt had me pick out this motherboard was so I could upgrade it later on. But he was probably assuming I would upgrade it sooner than five years down the road. You know, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, sure. At one point, something is decent or better quality than, a, you know, something for $100 less. But at this point now, it's like, I don't know. I, I I don't know how much more I should really bother upgrading my PC. Um, I'm just going to sell her one of these, I guess. I don't know. How much money does that give me? I get 29. All right, cool. And then go to buy. We need ale. My daddy wants ale cheap wine i'm really confused where's the ale at he helped you with the drivers yeah i'm that's the thing it's there was a lot of that stuff because i don't know remember if, uh i don't know if you remember chris when i built my computer four years ago um i actually was live streaming it and having matt on discord help me you know walk me through it so that he could actually see what i was doing and that was a freaking nightmare because my motherboard the the tower I put it in, um, the, the little screws that it's supposed to attach to, nothing lined up properly. So I was like, I had to get my pliers and twist the screws in just to get the motherboard to stay attached to the tower. It was a mess. Um, okay. I'm so confused right now. You really want to exit the shop? Uh, no. No, we'll... S can we finish this out? Ask it. Yeah, I exited the shop. Hang on a second. What are we supposed to do? Look at you. Oh, stop talking. Picture for father. Here we go. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual. Do I have to pay for it? Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Pay care. When your girlfriend's the bar wench, you don't gotta pay, apparently. Confusing himself. It happens. Thanks. I mean, Matt, if I had to start from scratch all over again and redo mine, I'd be lost. I'd have no idea. It's kind of like back in school when I take biology. I could get an A in biology like every time, but I swear to God, in between each year, each, uh, you know, grade I'd go up, I, I just flat out didn't remember a damn thing. It's like I could learn enough to pass the test and get an A, but I'd forget half of it by the following year. He's a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what, what did I miss? Name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use. Oh, oh, this the guy with the sword. Okay. Because I want to kill people. Come on. <laughs> I've got something special for you. Is that so? Pliers and screws. Well, no, it's just. Your favorite. It's because the the, uh, the the actual screws to hold the motherboard into the tower it just it just didn't line up perfectly. So I don't know if they just didn't cut the holes on the back in the right spot or what. But yeah, I just I had to get the pliers to get the, the little screws to actually twist in. Yeah, I don't know. That that's kind of how I feel, Chris. Honestly, like because it is such a chore to start from scratch. At the same time, I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Like, if I decided to build my own computer again, it would be kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Stressful? Sure. But, I don't know. Alright, so what do we have to left to do? Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Okay, so I do need to sell some of this crap so I can buy some charcoal. I'm just going to sell on my dead chicken. <laughs> Let's talk trade. I'll take the charcoal. I need what, 10? And we're going to sell. Uh, let's see here. I guess we'll sell one of these guys. 
How do I get this thing to go away? Q? There we go. Oh, how do I get eight of those? Damn. I only have to pay five? Sweet. You get 35. Oh, all right. He only has 20. Okay, let's let's back off a second. Hang on. Crap. Keep screwing this up. It's okay if it works. There, there are so many things in life that applies to. Uh, all right, let's do this first. He has 20. Charcoal is five, so I just need to sell something for five. Sell him bandages. We're going to keep bandages. Can't sell this because he won't buy stolen shit, apparently. Oh, he does. Oh. All right, cool. And we get five. And are we done? How do we do this? Close deal. There we go. Done. Like to discuss the price. No, don't haggle. Just just be done. <laughs> oh, I don't want to haggle. Oh, God. Okay. We're just going to leave the offer where it's at. That's a sum I can live with. Uh, let's see. Honestly, didn't mean to have RGB either. Fancy originally wanted we were out of stock. Oh, no, dude. I wish I had done RGB. And some paint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. No, I I regret it now. Now, at, thinking back at the time when I first built it, I was like, oh yeah, I don't want RGB. That's that's lame. I don't. That's that's. I just looks dumb. Now I'm like, freaking dude. I wish I'd done RGB. I really do. Welcome, Henry. It's like it is what it is. You live and learn. All right. I think I have everything for my daddy. About the things you wanted. Time. Have you got Dude, you're telling me this is taking forever. I have. Here we go. We're going to get drunk. We're going to play with fire. And we're going to hit metal objects. I love it. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. I'm telling you, my daddy's going to die. I'm going to take the sword. And it's, it's going to be mine. That's the way this is going to work out. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. <laughs> it's in Latin. Check to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. Then fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the Pokemon Go thing is terrible. And that's the funny thing, like, I don't even Wait. like mobile games. You know that, Chris. I hate mobile games. But that about. shit is unreal. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure... You yes, we did. We threw shit at his house. Guilty. House. He was here with the catch pole I either have to skip part or skip all. Really? Visit. What got into you, Hal? Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Uh, didn't I sell? I sold the nails, didn't I? <laughs> Will you fetch them for me, Hal? Wait, didn't I sell them? In the living room. Oh no, okay. Not those nails. Alright. Oof. I'm like, oh shit. Trunk in the living room? Where the hell is the living room? Oh. What? No, I already have them on me. Here we go. How's Call of Duty Mobile, really, dude? I don't know. Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Why is this chick flirting with me? I've already got Bianca. Henry, put it away. Fine, last eh? From Boston, huh? Staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Trial by fire. That's just how he looks, man. I can't change how he looks. Hell yeah. <laughs> we 
I'm a taken man. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. You haven't lost your skills, though. That thing's shiny. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. He called his own son a commoner. Dude's a prick. <laughs> now I'm not gonna be sad if he dies. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life. Sir. So my daddy has a mysterious past, apparently. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. What does it mean, so almost has it finished? You're just chopping wood with it, dude. Era. What do you say, Sman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. It's not a gun, dude. <laughs> Put it away. Find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. That's what I'd she be said. I'm glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. <laughs> oh no, I know, dude. That's the thing. It's like, okay, so now we're going to make all the women look like dudes and then you give them the upskirt and all that shit. It's like, who was smoking what when they did that? Give me a break. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. This guy's taking a liking to me, and I don't like it. He's kind of creeping me out. It's been an honor, Sage Man. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time yeah, that's really ago. funny. Uh, a lot of people have the wrong idea, especially about like medieval movies where swords are like move whipping around and stuff. It's like you wouldn't want a sword necessarily back then that was like light and agile. The whole idea is like, okay, you're going to crush bones even if you don't make contact with skin. You hit somebody in the chest with a sword full swing, you're going to break ribs. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. Dude, I'm getting, uh, did you ever watch Kingdom of Heaven? I'm getting those vibes. Linden tree by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. And you've no need to learn swordplay. Shut up, daddy. See, now we gotta kill people. Come on, give me the sword. Let's go kill people. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Somebody's died. They're being invaded. There you go. Burn, baby, burn. Oh my god, that's a big army. Hello. <laughs> Get that Cars 3 talk out of here, dude. None of that. Who the hell are they? That is a bright, shiny head that man has. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that helmet kind of slaps, not gonna lie. Oh, shit. It's it's time to go, guys. Time to run. Time to run. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house. And grab anything else important from the truck. Somebody tells me Bianca gonna die. Hey, what about you? Uh, you know, I know, man. I'm sorry, but I was actually kind of thinking, if I don't stay up super late tonight, I might do Dead Space again tomorrow. I'll go with you. No. Because I was having fun with Dead Space. I don't. I don't want to bail on Dead Space. I just. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to give this a second second shot because the first time I played it, I just kind of quit way too soon. Is daddy gonna die? 
fuck it, baby girl. Screw that, man. I'm saving myself. I can find another bar wench in a town somewhere else. Save your mom, not the bar wench. You can only ever have one mom. No, I was honestly surprised though. I was really surprised. No, I didn't finish it. I just, I haven't touched it since I played it last Friday. But I was surprised most people said to play this instead of Dead Space. Dude, do I get to kill people now? Come on. Oh, there goes his daddy. Oh shit. <laughs> Man's got skills. Story of Link never told. I don't get it. Man's got a sword killing people and you grab the woman. Having to deal with the locals and make his way before hero. Oh no, daddy's dead. Daddy died. And I'm just gonna stand there and stare. <laughs> Goat herding. Oh, is she gonna die? I told you, I told you his parents were both gonna die. I knew it. Rest in pepperonis. The guys with weapons are standing behind the wall saying, Hurry! Run! <laughs> when the guys with weapons are saying to run away, it's time to go. I'm digging the helmets that the invaders have, though. I really like their armor. <laughs> From Boston. Forgot to pay Electric City. Yeah, you were having me turn the... Um, the the darkness up right because it was getting just way too dark the electric bill yeah i don't know i don't mind like if i'm playing a game by myself and it's really dark eh, it doesn't bother me too much but i definitely prefer them a little bit brighter they always say like oh just slide it so you can barely see and like no i want to see that thing like like bright white. Quest started. Run. Oh shit. Oh, the the Cummins. Cummins or I think it's Cummins. Ride to Talmberg. Talmberg, Talmberg. However the hell you say it. Uh, okay, where's the horse at? Yo, how do we safely make our way down this hill? Poor guy keeps running out of oxygen. Am I actually being chased or not? Oh, I'm being chased. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize I was actually being chased. Oh. Uh, tried to see the difference? I will. Run. Run. Get on the horse. Oh, my God, dude. No. I can't get on the horse? What? Why can't I get on the horse? Ma oh, mount. X. Here we go. I'm dead. Come on, man. Ah. Uh. Nope. Disengage. 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 Run. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, crap. I know I'm unarmed. It just it sank in. <sighs> sank in too late. All right, run for your life. Now I should be able to take any horse and go. I assume. Uh, 
All right, it's got to manage the stamina a little bit better. I'm ar whoa, 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 what? Holy shit, I'm already being attacked. Dude, how did that happen? Oh my god, run! Woo! Useless sacrifice. You know what? You live and learn. Oh my god, dude, get off me, get off me! Now I'm bleeding? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? How am I supposed to get past that? I didn't even stop running, the guy catches up to me in full armor. Oh my god, why is my guy so pathetic? It's like I'm watching the Fallout series and I've got like one episode left and the dude Maximus, the guy that has the, the power armor, is just miserable the whole time. He's just pathetic. And people are like, well that's how his character's supposed to be. It's like, okay, but dude, I'm not enjoying it watching this guy who's a complete wimp. It's just, it's, it's awful. I swear to God, the guy drops down the side of the mountain or something. Because he spawned in out of nowhere. See? I have no idea where he came from. Now there's nobody there. Alright, we're good. Let's go find a horse. You can call your horse by whistling X. Hey, that's my horse. There we go. All right. Oh, WASD, uh, trot is the horse's basic pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caps walk with your horse, chance to recover. W, slash, canter idly combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Gallop is the fastest. But it'll soon deplete your horse's stamina. Okay. I'm getting a horse. Dos dedos? What is dos dedos? No habla espanol. Oh shit, come on, get off me, dude. Oh my god, he yanked me off my horse already? Holy shit, dude! Oh my god. I'm dead. And there goes my horse. Just kill me already. I was doing fine, what happened? The, the guys, they spawned in out of nowhere. The menu screen popped up. Nobody was there, and then all of a sudden being attacked. Not cool. Really not cool. Dude, you can auto-brew potions? That's awesome. It had to be a glitch, because honest to god, there was nobody there. I'll be happy when I'm done with this sequence right here, I'll tell you that. Come on, go, 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 go. I assume it's like any other game where if you completely deplete your stamina, it takes longer to recharge, so I'm really trying to not overdo it. But I'm terrified I'm going to turn around and someone's just going to spawn in on me. Wait, wait. Help Teresa get away from her attackers? What? Dude, why are they running so fast? Go, horse, go! Oh my god, there we go. Alright. No compadre. <laughs> Alright. Whew. So far, so good. We got the horse. Yes! Alright. Did it. Oh, they're just killing people, man. Why wouldn't you, like, save a few of them? Make them do manual labor. Or sire your children or something. Come on. <laughs> Vamonos, si. Si, senor. We're going to say German. Schnell. Laufen Sie schnell, bitte. I'm bleeding? What the? When did that happen? Oh, my God. I'm going to bleed to death. Now, am I being chased on horse? 
I don't even want to stop and look behind me. Would have been one of them. Okay, I don't think I'm being chased. Oh, I am being chased. Ah, oh, shit. Run, run. Dude, why can't my horse move? My horse is turned around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Back on track. Cutscene. Ah. So basically, the cutscene screwed me on that one. That's cool. That's fine. No worries. I'll just bleed out. No big deal. <laughs> By pressing L shift, you can slow to a canter. I know, but I'm being chased. And I'm going to die. My guy is not doing good. Oh my god. I don't think my horse has a first gear. Run for it. Yeah. Run for it. Yeah, you, you distract him. You die. Horse goes from first to fifth. Nothing in between. I'm going to bleed out. Oh my god, dude. No. How much further do I got to go? If I can survive to the next cutscene, I should be okay. Game has too many restrictions. It's different, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Everything's red! Oh my god. Go, horsey, go! Run, for it. run Forrest, run! I mean, I'm okay with punishing myself in games. I've played Dark Souls 3, I've played through Elden Ring. I'm, I'm cool with punishing games. I just, for me, games stop being fun if it doesn't make sense why it's so hard. That's all. Good lord, okay. All right. That took forever. Oh, my poor horse has an arrow sticking out of his side. Hugging them talada? I don't, I don't speak Kuman. Yeah, the only Zelda games I haven't played are like the ones on the Wii U and the and the Wii. So like the big names like Skyward Sword I didn't play and um, there was a few other ones in there. But yeah, I've played all the Zelda games for the most part. I missed one or two along the way on the um, <sighs> Super NES, I think. Dude, I was really hoping for the 35th anniversary we were going to get a remake of Ocarina of Time. Because Ocarina of Time was like my absolute favorite game for the longest time. Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. Hot wine! That sounds disgusting. Oh, I, I take it that's for the, um... Oh no, that's for him to drink. I was like, is that for him to actually have the, uh, poured into the open wound there? Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I'm from my mama. I've come from Scalic. She dead. They burned it to the ground. Skyward Sword's gameplay who? sucks. Ah. Who burned it to the ground? And yet they chose that one to make for their uh, to remake for their 35th anniversary. Explain that one to me. Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. They're Cumans, man. Never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars. Tartars, you say. Well, Gameplay is based on motion control? Oh, uh, hell no. Have a look at that leg of yours. Okay, so I never got to play Zelda 2 back in the day, right? Played the hell out of the first one. Good immediately choice. moved to the next platform. I can't, what was the one on Super Nintendo? Actually, I might not... I, I might have skipped the Super Nintendo one also. Because the next Zelda I played, I think, was on the N64. I also had, you know, Link to the Past to my Game Boy. But... I tried playing the second, uh, is it Adventures of Link? I can't remember the one on the NES. I have the, uh, I have it on my Switch. I could not figure it out. 
It only needed bandaging and I Yeah, it's very different. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Good as new, my ass. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm about a hundred plus hours into Tears of the Kingdom. I have not beat it yet. <laughs> I'm putting it off. I've just been doing going around doing like all the shrines, doing all the side stuff. I think I beat one of the four temples. Um Breath of the Wild was awesome. Took me a couple years to actually get around to playing that one. And then Tears of the Kingdom's great. I just uh I've just been putting it off. I don't know. Adventures of Link, yeah. This is a survivor from I heard Robard. Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? We got our asses kicked, man. The attackers. <laughs> Were there any more survivors? So, um, I just I couldn't figure out what the hell to do. I mean, uh, I, I think I played it for like half an hour. I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And, and my mommy and my daddy died. I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east. And the Cumans are hungry. Army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks... Yeah, I, for, for me, my personal opinion on the whole Legend of Zelda, like, lore story thing, I don't know why they've tried connecting all of them. I'm okay with them being, like, their own individual stories and not being like, oh, it's like Link's reincarnated or it's like a different continuation of the story. I'm a lot happier just thinking of them as separate storylines. I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. The dead Scalitz blacksmith. <laughs> Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No, Breath of the Wild definitely had a better story than Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I like the the gameplay functionality of Tears of the Kingdom. I know a lot of people don't like it because of the the lack of dungeons and traditional Zelda stuff. And I really, I wish they would have kind of a, you know, go back to the basics. But I don't think they ever will, unfortunately. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Yeah, I, I would be down for like a straight up traditional Zelda game. But unfortunately, I don't know if that's ever going to happen or not. You know, find the map, the compass, <laughs> fight the mini boss. Oh, it doesn't acknowledge Skyward Sword. Okay. I don't know. I was under the impression that they tried to like connect all of them or something. Another fast travel point. I discovered my bed. Ooh, where is my bed? That's not my bed. Where is my bed? <laughs> Sucker. That's Private area. Oh, my bed. My bed. Sorry. Sorry. Is this my bed? Lockpick. This is a table, sir. This is not a bed. And there's no way you could sleep on that. Hell no. Where is my bedroom? Why am I all blurry? hell's going on man uh, sir divish please tell me where my bed is just make good games yeah i mean honestly that's one of those ones where the, the games that they don't need to connect they don't need to like try to explain or change things my my little indicator tells me i'm supposed to go to sleep it looks like but i don't know where the hell to go like what is going on it also says i'm hungry do i have any food I'm not going to eat the raw chicken. I did that one time on Minecraft and that was a mistake. Oh my god, my guy is like freaking hungry. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Okay, of time start timeline. I mean, I heard about your father. Say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make Where the hell am I supposed to get some food at? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, where's the map? Let's see here. Baker. Ooh. Your bed. I didn't see my bed. Okay, was there any food? Somebody. Food. 
Can't sleep on these, can I? Ah, oh. oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. You know what's funny? I really hated the animation of Wind Waker at the time. I, I was like, why does it look like that? I hate the cartoony stuff. But honestly, like, looking back now, Wind Waker was actually a pretty good game. I never got around to beating it, unfortunately. At that time, I had rented it because I was, I'm that old. I rented it for my GameCube. And, um, I had like a weekend to get it beat. And I didn't manage to finish it in time. I was still living at home, teenager, had restrictions on how long I could play a game for, so. Twilight Princess was really good. I actually liked Twilight Princess quite a bit. I've still got it on my GameCube, but my GameCube's out in the, the garage. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. That's the thing. I didn't like it, but I can look back now and say it was actually probably the right choice to make, especially on the GameCube. Because again, GameCube was really limited on what it could actually do for processing. It was probably a smart move. The funny thing is so many people love Majora's Mask. I didn't like it better than Ocarina of Time, I'll tell you that. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually. Yes, food. Food. Can I have some? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Roast duck. Hell yeah. You don't mind if I have all these, do you? <laughs> I mean, it's not stealing. It's just out here for anybody, right? Wind Waker HD. I don't think that's the one I played. I just played the original. I was bread gonna do for me. My man's still not full yet. Come on, really? What is that cheese? Did they ever learn to put their cheese in the refrigerator? Come on. All right. Man, my dude is hungry. Holy crap. Uh, Zelda Wind Waker had problem like you have you use change wind time. So you know the funny the thing is uh, about like the wind element in games. I actually don't mind games where you have to control the wind or you rely on the wind to carry your ship. Like I love Valheim. I'm losing reputation for taking the food. Really? How come? It's just sitting here. I'm hungry, man. But like that element in Valheim doesn't bother me at all. Some people, it bothers them. I'm like, dude, it's it's a nautical part of the game. You got to deal with, you know. <laughs> oh my god, why is my guy all blurry-eyed again? What is going on? Mm. Where's my bed? Okay, where is my bed? Uh, somewhere over here. Am I supposed to go to sleep now? Is that what they're telling me? Run, go to the courtyard lodge and sleep there until morning. There we go. I'm going to pass out. Oh, it's right here. Courtyard Lodge. No? Is this me? That's... I think that's my bed. That's me. That's sitting, not sleeping. Sleep! Here we go. Sitting is not sleeping. Alright, how long are we supposed to sleep for? It says till morning. What time is it? Yeah, I want to go back and play to Aaron not Tears, uh, Twilight Princess again. It's been a long freaking time since I played that. Dude, it's so funny. This game is, what, six years old? And these characters look far better than half the shit you see coming out of current games. The intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My lady... Uh, um, she here for a booty call? <laughs> no, 
No, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. This is a booty call, isn't it? I knew it. It's just what you need to help you sleep. She's gonna drug him and have her way with him. Thank you. You really shouldn't. Yeah, not just the elbow crushing spin attacks, yeah. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I did like Ganon back on Ocarina of Time. He does kind of just do that Hulk out thing where it's not much of an actual fight. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a weird decision to go with the whole Legend of Zelda thing, but it sounds better than the Legend of Link. Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. Well, the princess, she had 45 she minutes of screen time over 50 hours in the game. Yeah, that's pretty minimal. I know what it I do like that the newer games are trying to include her more. I, I think that's pretty cool. Actually make her more of a central part of the story. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. That's it. I thought this was a booty call. <laughs> well, never mind. Where did my guy go? Oh my god, where did he disappear to? You might be right, my lady. Ah, where is he? I'll tell you what happened. Oh my god. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on My guy has disappeared completely. Ah, uh, let's see. Fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect. The problem with his elder tears of the kingdom. Kunish had no intention of paying. Is he sitting next to her, or is he supposed to be on the bed across from her still? Because either way, this camera is messed up. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands. You aren't to interact with the prince. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was kind of like you know your princess is in another castle. Although again, I don't hate um I don't hate that they made Princess Peach playable. I mean actually I, uh, in like the Mario Rabbids game, I love Princess Peach. I, I didn't get to pick, it just picked for me. On Come on, man. I asked him if he'd teach me swords. <sighs> he said no. He said it's better for a man to I'll probably make it an earlier night tonight and then I'll think about maybe doing uh, another live stream tomorrow, do some dead uh, dead space. Oh. I like the game better this time around than I did the first time. But man, there's a lot of talking. Holy crap. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's do Sigismund's cavalry was composed of humans. They're diabolical barbarians from the east with no regard for the rules of warfare. Bloodthirsty cutthroats. The very fact Sigismund has them with him shows what a tyrant he is. Well, I don't know. Ah, I failed to impress. Death descended on scallets. Okay, let's so let's go with um Oh, okay, I, I can I can do this. I looked towards the tavern and saw a group of humans. Oh, so Bianca did die. Oh, I didn't know that. Now I feel bad for him. I could do to help her. You mustn't blame yourself. She's with the Lord now. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down. Enemy variety, Tears of the Kingdom reused from Birth of the Wild with 31, with 24. The the yeah, there's not a whole lot of types of enemies uh, in Breath or in Tears of the Kingdom, are there? I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started preparing for siege. No doubt you're right. Reputation gain, there we go. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to Was I supposed to rescue that Teresa chick? <laughs> even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. Wait, wait, wait. So I had his sword? Person I'd helped. Yo, Mahendra, I thought you said I didn't have a weapon. After that, I stole a horse from them. This never happened. I, I never tried to save her. I'll never forget the horror. What the hell? This game's glitched out. This is not cool. 
something like that happen? God alone knows why he let Now he's over happen. here. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those this woman talks too slow. Ugh. Envy and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. He just saw his daddy and his mommy and his girlfriend all murdered. Okay. To me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but... Tell you, this woman is looking for some action. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? He's like, are you single now? <laughs> some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislovitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. Well, he probably he had it coming. My husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. It's called the Dark Ages for a reason, dude. Henry just doesn't realize where he's at, like what time he's living in, does he? I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven yeah, you know, I've seen people try to, like, again, try to explain the whole lore, or, uh, Legend of Zelda lore and try to connect all of it. I don't know that any of it really works, like, to, trying to connect all of it. Because, again, like, they keep retconning and changing parts of it. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband? So her husband is the old dude. Seven years. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. This is the part where she asks him to put a baby in her tummy. Divis seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. Oh my God. Townberg. After he was released, the king appointed him... I've seen this movie before. I know where this is going. He was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now... We're here. My lady, you're still young and... Beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. <laughs> what am I doing bothering you with this? Um. And let you sleep. It's called You Got the Hornies, lady. I enjoyed our little talk. Yeah, I, I don't like the fact that there's no Triforce. I will say that. That that is a key element, especially when you go back to like how heavily involved in the story it was in like Ocarina of Time. And then Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, there's like really nothing about the Triforce, you know? It does give you more questions than answers, that's for sure. Oh no, he's having a nightmare. Henry needs a shave. He's getting a little scraggly. Oh, are we going to have a fight dream sequence here? Yeah, but see, I really like Ocarina of Time. I'll forgive it for Henry, breaking some of the up. classic elements. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? 
Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelos. Yeah, I guess they use that term sage really loosely on uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Damn it, I'm hungry. Hungry again? My god, this dude never stops eating. Holy crap. Lentil mash. Here we go. Eat that, dude. That should fill him up. Eh, most of the way. You learned women in the Middle Ages. <laughs> women in the Middle Ages get the hornies, apparently. All right. So I have a sword. How do I draw the sword now? Oh, let's see. There we go. Uh, okay, so I could have pulled the sword out when I was running for my life. Not that I would have survived if I had tried to fight him, but still. Uh, let's see, they try to replace Triforce with Tears. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's another piece of it. Why is there no mention about the children in the past flashback where Sonya killed the Ganon before they were having any children with created the Grandfather Paradox? Oh, yeah, how could she have a blood connection with Zelda if she died before having children? I don't have a lockpick. Dude, I was supposed to get a lockpick from Fritz, and I, knew I never got to. That sucks. All right, hang on a sec. A grandfather paradox. That is really interesting. I, I never even thought about that. Hang on, DLCs. I think I have all the DLCs. I don't know if you play them separately or if they're part of the game or not. See, it's only 11.15. I think I might call it on this for the night guys, and then I'll, I'll try to come back on tomorrow and do Dead Space again. I was actually really enjoying Dead Space. I just wanted to give this a shot. And I'm glad I did because, honestly, the game doesn't suck. Um, I just wasn't into it the first time around. Power, courage, wisdom, further the story goes from that, the less important it is. Yeah, honestly. And then it makes the connection between Link, Zelda, and Ganon less important. Because they have kind of that, you know, that they're yin and yang. Kind of like the whole idea of light and dark balancing each other out. I'm Sage, even they have conflict with Hyrule King Raru with King of Gerudo. That is another weird... You're right about that, too. Because, like, it's not just one Gerudo. The whole, the entirety of the Gerudo race would be at war with everybody else. You know, if they ever decided to, like, actually embellish on that and create more of an actual political um, backstory for him, it would make more sense. But, again, you know, the Zelda games are fairly simplified as far as their storyline goes. It doesn't leave much room for interpretation. Venn diagrams, yeah. Special dungeon for Gerudo women backstory. Hey, spicy man. Yeah, what time? When is it coming out? Because now that I'm playing this, I don't know how long this game is to beat, but I want to be ready for the next one to come out. Obviously, I've only played this for about an hour and a half tonight. Um, but... You know, if I can actually figure out how to properly play this game, where I don't feel like I'm just bumbling my way through, uh, it, it should get better. But yeah, I didn't see the release date for Kingdom Come 2 yet. That, and I've got a few games on my wish list that I'm still debating whether I want to pick them up or not. Um, God, I've got so little time. It's like, most nights I either have to choose between um, making a video or playing a game or live streaming. So I, I don't have time for all of them. Because I got two out last night, well, one this morning, I was able to say, okay, tonight we're just going to live stream. But in general, it's like I have to like choose either tonight I'm going to get a video done or two videos done, or I'll do a live stream and not get anything done by the end of the year. Okay, well, that's cool. I can wait. That'll give me time to beat this one. All right, I'm going to hit the hey, guys. Um... Let's shoot for tomorrow night. I want to try to do some dead space. Um, yeah, yeah, same to you, Menu. It's been good hanging out, catching up. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on dead space tomorrow and then maybe try to get back to this next week. Why the Zonai people mentioned that they came from Sky where they created the retcon on the Skyward Sword. They didn't acknowledge any event Skyward Sword. Yeah. 
the Mites of Goddess highlight. Again, the thing about Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild even, the things I don't like about them is the fact that they remove the goddesses, they remove the Triforce. There's a lot of those pieces that they don't explain. And it sucks. It really sucks because those were key elements of, you know, I'd say a fairly large part of the franchise. It's it's a bummer. It's it, I still enjoy the games for what they are. I still think Breath of the Wild was a fantastic game. Tears of the Kingdom, I think the functionality parts of it, the actual gameplay, like I said, is better, even though the story might be a little more lacking. Even Tears of the Kingdom flashback doesn't acknowledge related Skyward Sword. Yeah, and see, that's harder for me because I don't know anything about Skyward Sword because I never played it. I thought about maybe picking up the remaster, but I'm like, I just don't. I don't know if I care. <laughs> you know, I just don't. All right, guys, I'm going to hit the hay. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for the conversations. It's been fun. And I will try to be back on tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll hang. I'll wait till the last question's over. Take your time, dude. I'm just going to start getting myself situated here and ready to hop off. I guess for me, because I've been like a Zelda uh, fan for so long, I just turn off the critical side of my brain when I'm playing the games and I either enjoy certain games for certain pieces or not. In general, I just, I like the stories, but, um, you know, to each their own, I get it. I know a lot of people don't even like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom because of the fact that they remove the dungeons as, you know, the primary, the activities where you have to go through and find keys to unlock doors and all that. And I get it. And I'd, I would love if they'd go back to that, but I don't know if it's going to happen. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I will probably be back on tomorrow.